Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here you can see this is a RHL 8.5 server and while trying to execute the command yum list telnet, it is giving me error and yum is not working properly. So in this video, we will try to troubleshoot and we will try to fix this error. So friends, before starting this video, I request you, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Let's start the video. So now I want to tell you some important points about the yum repository. Here you can see yum repository having all the configuration having the dot repo uh, extension and all file location is slash etc slash yum dot repos dot t so now what we will do first we will try to identify which repository giving me error here you can see rhl8 is giving me error and you can see crawl error could not connect to the server and this is the url that means using the crawl it is not working means while em repository trying to crawl or access that this repository from where uh, uh, the repository configure it is not working properly so what we can do we can manually try to crawl here crawl minus b then the url name you can see it is trying to connect and fail that means this repository is not working properly that's why this repository is not working uh, the url is not accessible that's why this uh, repository is not working properly so what we will do my alternate uh, method is i need to fix this error i need to check the url why it is not working else i have to disable this error means if i am unable to fix this error means uh, if i am unable to uh, fix the url why it is not working then i have to adopt the other ways that means i have to uh, disable the repository or rename the repository or move the, re move the repository to other uh, directory from the slash etc dot yum dot uh, yum dot repository d so now we will try one one by one all uh, other methods and we will see how you can fix this error we will try to disable the repository we will try to rename the repository we will move the repository now first we will go to the directory slash etc yum dot repos dot d LL. here you can see i have four repository here and as i told you before rhl8 repos giving me error so what we will do as i told you uh, first we will disable the repo and try check for that use the vi command to edit the repo here i need to disable this repo here it is enabled go to the insert mode now change from 1 to 0 and escape then write and quit now yum cleaner now yum list telnet you can see yum repository started working properly and telnet package is available that means now we have disabled the rhl8 repo now we will try to uh, rename the repo and uh, try to see what happening so uh, again edit the repo enable it save the file again uh, reproduce the error I am trying to connect to the URL. Error came. Now what we will do? We will move the repository, uh, rename the repository using the mb command. Dot bkp. I will add bkp. Now check. now yum clean all yum list telnet started working so after renaming after adding the bkp after uh, dot repo uh, the repo file extension is changed to dot bkp 
that's why yum repository uh, uh, didn't consider this repo file as a repo file and he only consider yum only consider these files as a repo files and ignore this repo file that's why yum started working now what we'll do we'll again roll back Now what we will do, we will move the repository file to other directory, mv, now reproduce the error, it is trying to connect, started giving error, now what we will do, we will move the repository to other directory slash let's say tmp ll here you can see that repo is not present now again yum list telnet yum started working that means in case one of your repository is not working and giving error and you are unable to fix that error you are not unable to uh, make off that repository at that time you can disable that repository you can rename that repository or you can move that repository to other directory out from the etc yum dot repository using these three steps you can fix the yum repository error so friends i believe this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment thanks for watching